although this vision has just ended, Jesus has some comments to make. So I shall read those. And here, the work that my love for you has dictated and that you have received through the love that a creature has had for me and for you is over. It ended today, the day of the commemoration of Saint Zita from Lucca. The humble maid who served her Lord with charity in this church of Lucca, where I, from remote places, have brought my little John, so that he should serve me with charity and with the same love that Saint Zita had for all unhappy people. I just interrupt there, this reference to little John, that's a nickname that Jesus gave Maria Valtorta. He refers to her often as little John. Zita used to give bread to the poor, remembering that I am in each of them, and that blessed will they be, who side by side with me give bread and drink to the hungry and thirsty. Mary John, again that's um, Maria Valtorta, Mary John has given my words to those who languish in ignorance or in tepidness, or in doubt about faith, remembering that wisdom said that those who work hard to make God known will shine like stars in eternity, giving glory to their love by making it known and loved, and to many people. And further, it ended today, the day in which the church raises the pure lily of the fields, Mary Teresa Goretti, to the altars, the lily whose stem was broken while its corolla was still a bud. And by whom was it broken, if not by Satan, envious of that purity that shone more than his ancient angelic aspect? Broken because it was sacred to the divine lover. Mary, virgin and martyr of this century of disgrace, in which also the honor of the woman is held in contempt by spitting the slaver of reptiles to deny the power of God to give an unviolate dwelling to his word who is becoming incarnate by the Holy Spirit in order to save those who believe in him. There's this um, a further reference to um, the honour of the woman being held in contempt. That cap woman with a capital W in the text, that's referring to Mary. The honour of Mary is held in contempt in the 20th century. Um, no doubt Jesus is referring to um, even so-called Christians who will suggest Mary wasn't a virgin um, perpetually, or even wasn't a virgin before conceiving Jesus, um, or at the conception of Jesus, or fail to give her the due honour that the Catholic Church gives her, but especially in Protestant circles, that they really downplay her. That's the, the horror of the 20th century, amongst other things. Jesus continues, talking of Mary, uh, Maria Valtorta now. Also, Mary John is martyr of the hatred, who does not want my wonders to be celebrated by the work the weapon capable of snatching so many praise from him. And just to interrupt again, the work is the poem of the man God and the hatred is Satan. And he's seeking to cause Marie Valtorta to be a martyr, to suffer, to prevent the work, this poem of the man God spreading through the human race, because it will be a weapon capable of snatching so many praise from Satan. Jesus continues, but also Mary John knows, as Mary Teresa knew, that martyrdom, whatever its name and aspect are, is the key that without delay opens the kingdom of heaven to those who suffer to continue my passion. The work is finished. And with its end, with the descent of the Holy Spirit, ends the messianic cycle that my wisdom has enlightened from its dawning. The Immaculate Conception of Mary to its setting, the descent of the Holy Spirit. All the Messianic cycle 
is the work of the spirit of love for those who see properly. It was therefore right to begin it with the mystery of the immaculate conception of the spouse of the love and finish it with the seal of the fire paraclete on the church of Christ. The revealed works of God, of the love of God, end with Pentecost. From then onwards, the intimate, mysterious work of God continues in his believers, united in the name of Jesus, in the one holy, Catholic, apostolic, Roman church. And the church, that is the assembly of the believers, shepherds, sheep and lambs, can proceed without erring because of the continuous spiritual operation of the love, the theologian of theologians, he who forms the true theologians, that is, those who are lost in God and have God in themselves, the life of God in them through the direction of the Spirit of God that guides them, that is, those who really are the children of God according to the concept of Paul. And at the end of the work, once again, I have to put the complaint that I've put at the end of each evangelical year. And in my grief, seeing my gift despised, I say to all of you, you shall not have anything else because you've not received this that I've given you. And I say also about which I had you informed last summer, which is the 21st of May, 1946, to call all of you on the right path. Quotes, you will not see me until the day comes when you will say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, end quote. The work was finished today, 27th of April, 1947. Via Reggio, via Frati, 113, Maria Valtorta. So that is the uh, very unfortunate that it had to be said by Jesus. You shall not have anything else because you've not received this that I've given you. Jesus says elsewhere he had intended to give us so much more. And what he has given us is vast in its extent. And one just wonders how much more we could have had. I can only say that I hope that there is a, a victim soul out there, even alive today, to whom Jesus is speaking, who is worthy to receive these, that would cause Jesus to change his mind and give us more. Because as we are approaching darker and darker times, we need this and we need everything that Jesus would have been willing to tell us, to, as, to help us guide us through these very difficult periods we and the entire human race is in and he's entering upon. But the problem is, so few are paying attention to the vast work and the vast effort that Maria Valdorta had to go through for this work to be put before us and the care and attention Jesus gave in giving us this. So few honour that, pay attention to it, read it. And so I'm quite pessimistic that we will get anything else from Jesus that could be on this level. But of course, we can't complain. This is not a case of the glass half empty. This is the, a case of the glass 90% full. <laughs>